Barnes, did you know you were in on that second one? How confident were you that that was going to come back uh, for six points? Um, I mean, I just made a play, and I mean, I knew that I was getting close to the end zone, and I knew if I got within my striking zone, uh, my reach, I was going to stick it out there. That was a heck of an effort by Luke on that play as well. Can you just talk about how he, uh, Um, it's just been, you know, the trust, the trust factor, and just like you know, practice, just going after it, and you know, just letting the ball fly, and, and you know, receivers doing doing our part, and just making plays, and just you know, letting him know that we have your back no matter what. Is that how you guys want to look? To really spread the ball out, thirteen receptions to different players. It seemed like, from from your point of view, how did how did the receiver group as a whole? Get um. I mean, as long as we get the win, I don't care who get the ball. I can go one catch, two yards, and we win. At the end of the day, we win it. So, I mean, at the day, everybody did a good job from the slot, from Renard having having a monster day, from me having a monster day, and then, you know, for Isaiah to come back and have a quiet day. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about the W, and, uh, you know, I'm just happy that we got a W today. Um, I mean, around the locker room, yeah, he, he has a lot of energy, you know, um, one of those guys that like to dance like Pip, you know, but just on the offense side of the ball. And then just for, um, you know, in the game, you know, he one of those guys that can, you know, bring a spark to the offense when we need it. You know, like the, uh, the long catch he had down the sideline, you know, that was, that was a huge momentum boost for us. And like, you know, we have Jameer too, he could do the same as well. So like those guys play a huge role as well. Anything else for Tavares? Mm -hmm. Questions for uh, Hercules and Cody O'Connell. Hercules, uh, you had two and a half sacks in the first five minutes of this game. Have you ever had a game where you produced a fight like that? Or, or? You know, uh, my, my job is to produce, but I just go out there and play football. I mean, it's fun for me to get all those sacks and stuff, but I wouldn't have got them without my guys on to the left of me or to the right of me. So I'm just out there having fun with, with my boys and uh, – uh, we're, we're really competing against each other too to get uh, our production up. So I think that's a good deal with us as a defense because uh, we like to compete against our, each other just as we like to compete against the guys across from us. What's that feeling like when you get a sack on the first play of the game? I mean, is that just kind of run through the whole defense after you make that happen? You know, I think it, uh, it is a good tone setter for the rest of the game for us, uh, you know, uh, make, making a big play on the first uh, play of the game uh, probably uh, set the tone for us. Uh, Offensively, defensively, on special teams, you know, just to keep, get the momentum on our side. The first play is uh, great for us. What's your conversation like in the mood in the huddle after you as a defense have gotten to a point where you frustrate the other team so much that they're going to win another quarterback? You know, we 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 like to play the next play. Uh, that, that, that's uh, what what uh, our coaches uh, taught us from day one. Uh, playing the next play, you know, it doesn't matter what the score is. Uh, we're just out there to go play football and uh, have fun with each other and. You know, make plays. Is there a moment of celebration or like? Yeah, we we, we like we, we celebrate with each other a lot, but we we also know that like if you get a sack, you know, I want a sack too. So it's kind of that kind of feeling uh, on the sideline. Is it, is it, during the locker room, like when you're, you're back at practice the next day, is it something amongst the other D linemen? Hey, I'm ahead of you, and I mean, you better catch up. Or it's not really like like that. It's like you got one, so I need one too. That, that's the feel. It's not like. Oh, you got one. I'm not going to talk to you. You know, we're, we're suddenly celebrating with each other, but you know, uh, we, we just try to get our uh, plays in, and uh, you know, if it happens to be the other guy, we're going to celebrate with him. But you know, is that kind of feel? Where can you play on the shutout to slipping away there? You know, I thought we played a, a complete game, a full 60 minutes. Uh, you know, we got some young guys out there to get a taste of football of what it was like to play uh, collegiately out here. So you know, I'm not disappointed in what. Uh, the score came out to be. A lot, a lot, a lot of younger guys got, got I mean, reps. Uh, they yeah. have some of their first ever reps in the live game. How do you think they did as a whole and, and what were the likes seeing all the young guys getting there? Uh, you know, on the D line, we, we, uh, Willie Rogers stepped up today. Uh, you know, one, one of our guys got down, so he, he, he came up and he, uh, he um, you know, went out there and played football. So. 
have you seen defensively growth, say, for this defense compared to a year ago? You know, I think we're hungrier this year. And uh, we really want to uh, take the ball away from the offense because, you know, that, that, that's, that's how we're supposed – that's our style. And uh, getting takeaways is uh, the ultimate goal for our defense. And, uh, you know, if we keep continuing to do that, uh, I think we'll keep it rolling throughout the season.